I'm now in a position to start my drawing. The tools I'm going to use for this are a ruler. I need one long ruler for doing my 20 centimeter line, a shorter ruler and a set square. I will also, for my goldfish pond, need a compass. I'm going to do this drawing using a biro, but I would recommend that you use a pencil for this. I'm using a biro just so that it'll show up better on camera. I also need my sketch drawing, which I've copied from the board here, and my table of dimensions, which again I copied from the board here. The first thing I want to draw is the outline of the patio, which is going to be 20 centimeters long and it's going to be 16 centimeters wide. So I start by drawing my baseline, which is going to be 20 centimeters long. Now the way I draw something like this is I draw the line slightly longer than what I need. And then I measure off the 20 centimeters accurately. Note I start not at the end of the ruler, but actually where the markings start. And then I come up to the 20 and I mark that there. Okay, and then I can draw that line. I can draw it in strong. Okay, I now want to come down 16 centimeters. And I start that by setting up using the set square. So I line up the set square at the top edge there, and then I draw a guidance line down here. The guidance line is quite light, and I do the same over here. Now, once I have those guidance lines, I can measure off 16 centimeters. line up the ruler, and then draw to the end. And do the same on the other side, lining up at 16 centimeters, making sure it's at the right angle, and drawing out to there. Okay. I then join the other two ends. I now mark the dimensions of the sides that I had. The 20 centimeter top one is actually five meters in reality. Same on the bottom. And then the side, which was 16 centimeters long, is actually four meters, okay, in reality. These are the dimensions the things will be in real life. Looking at my sketch drawing again, I've now got a triangular corner barbecue pit, and that's 1.2 meters by one meter. I look at my table of dimensions and find that 1.2 came to 4.8 centimeters, so I can mark that out now. four point eight here and then one and one centimeter one meter came to four centimeters. So that's coming down four centimeters there. So that's my corner barbecue. And again I mark the dimensions on that. So that's one point two meters and one meter. I might draw my square table at this point. That's 1.5 meters. 1.5 came to six centimeters. So I start by drawing one side of my table, which is six centimeters long. I 
And I can mark the two ends of that. I then do set up lines using the set square so as to make sure that my table is going to be square. So that's a light set up line. And then I do the same for the other side. Note, the setup lines don't have to go right to the corner. When I measure the edge, I will draw the lines that go right to the corner. So here I'm setting that up at six centimeters now, and now I'm drawing it accurately. I put a tick mark to make it quite clear where it finishes, and I come up to there. And I do the same for this side. Line it up, tick mark, come up, and then join the other two sides. I don't measure the other side because if I've set everything out correctly, that's going to be right. Next thing I have is a bench. The bench is 1.8 meters. Okay, 1.8 meters came to 7.2. So I'm setting up 7.2 now. My bench is going to be here and it's going to come up to 7.2 there. Again, the tick marks show me where the thing is. Set up my right angles again. Same on the other side. And the width was 0.8, so what does 0.8 come to? Comes to 3.2, so 3.2. No. One point eight came to seven point two, not point eight, three point two. Discover that my bench really doesn't look that much like a bench, but it's a short bench. The width is about what it should be, 80 centimeters. It's wide, so we can imagine cushions at the back here. That big comfortable cushion there. Okay, we've almost all the shapes done now. The one thing that's left to draw is the goldfish pond. It is a radius of 0 0.7 meters. 0 0.7 meters came to 2.8 centimeters. I put my biro into the compass and make sure the point and the point of the biro are just about aligned. I then set up the radius of the circle on this by adjusting So that, that lines up there, and this lines up at 2.8 here. I then mark the center of the circle, because it's very easy to skip out the point and then have difficulty looking at it. And if the underlying sheet was free, I would rotate the sheet now rather than the compass. But because I've taped this down so it wouldn't move while I'm doing it, I'm now rather carefully and quite gently rotating the compass so as to give me my circular goldfish pond. My drawing looks okay at this point, but what I have been neglecting to do is putting the dimensions on as I was going along. So my table was 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters. My goldfish pond, the radius equals 0.7 meters. The bench is 1.8 meters. 
by 0.8 meters. I then write scale drawing and I put the scale 1 to 25 and then I can write things like table bench pond and barbecue.